iOS 14 has caused an entire host of issues with Facebook ads tracking and reporting. But one thing that it did add and require you to do is to verify your domain in Business Manager and set up your aggregated events. If you do not have your domain verified and your aggregated events set up, your ads will not be running properly, your conversion campaigns will not be performing as they should, and you will have problems with your Facebook ads. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the simple steps of getting your domain verified, your aggregated events set up, and if you stay until the end, I'll even tell you how you can circumvent the issues with tracking on on your ads manager dashboard by using the conversions API tool. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, or leave me a comment if you have any questions. And I'm so excited to share more videos just like this one on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, high level CRM, and more. Let's go ahead and dive into Business Manager and get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to business.facebook.com to log in to Business Manager. Once you're inside of Business Manager, you need to navigate to the Business Manager that has the account related to the domain that you need to verify. This is going to be done through the Business Settings tab in Business Manager. Once I'm in business settings, I'm then going to click on the brand safety tab right here and click on domains. Now I'm simply going to click on the add button. I'm going to type in the URL of the domain that I want to verify. You will need to make sure that you have access to the domain hosting or a few other tools that will allow you to do this. So if you do not have admin or backend access to website or hosting details, you're going to want to pause this video and come back when you have them or you will not be able to continue. Then I'm simply going to click add. Now it's going to bring me to this screen. It's going to tell me it's not verified and that I can select one option. There's a couple of different ways that you can do this. And my preferred way is to update the DNS text record with your domain registrar. You can add a meta tag to your HTML source code, but dealing with code is something that a lot of people are not comfortable doing. However, if you do know where your HTML source code is, you can do it this way. It's going to tell you exactly where to paste it. It's going to be in between the head tag and it's going to be pretty simple. You're simply going to add this piece of code in that head section of your website. You would need back end admin access to be able to do that. In a WordPress site, you could use something like insert headers and footers plugin. But today, I'm going to be showing you how to do the domain registrar option. Uploading an HTML file to your root directory is something a bit more complicated. Most people are not going to opt for this. This really would be more of a last resort, in my opinion. And I do believe that this is going to be the easiest way to go. So I'm simply going to select that option. And now it's telling me exactly what to do. I'm going to verify my domain by adding a DNS text record. So your domain registrar is wherever you purchased the domain for your website. Now, <clears throat> I am simply going to click on this piece of code and it says, follow the instructions to add this text record in your DNS configuration. Some domain registrars require the add symbol in this host field. All you wanna do is log in. In this case, it's GoDaddy. A lot of people will be using GoDaddy, but it's very similar in every platform. Now that I'm on my domain, I want to navigate to my DNS settings. So you're going to find something that says manage DNS. Now that I've navigated to my DNS management, I want to click on add and I'm going to be selecting a text record. The host, as Facebook said I might need to do, is going to be the at sign. And the text value is going to be that piece of code that I copied from Business Manager, which should look just like this. I'm going to hit save and that text record has been updated. Now I'm going to hop back to Business Manager. 
Once you hit verify domain, your domain should be verified. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, as it says here, it may take up to 72 hours for the change to propagate across your servers. Now I'm gonna show you how to add that source code to your head tag. So what we'll need to do is go into the back end of our website. This could be a WordPress site, a landing page, but anywhere that you see it, the headers, the footers, or if it's a straight custom HTML site, it's going to be in the source code between those head tags. In WordPress, I'm using the WP headers and footers tool. So I'll simply navigate to that tool in WordPress. And this is what that is gonna look like. I'm just posting this in the header. It says these scripts will be printed in the head section. Then I'm gonna hit save changes. And I'm going to go back over and click on verify domain. And just like that, the domain is verified. So those are the two easiest ways to verify your domain. The next step is going to be heading over to your events manager tool. Now that your domain is verified, you can set up your aggregated events. You do need to have your pixel installed you do need to have your standard events already set up. So if you've not done that, make sure that you watch my video about the full pixel installation with standard events so you can do those steps. Now we're going to hop over to aggregated events management and click on manage events. We'll then see this verified domain show up right here. We can click on it and select manage events. This is going to cause you to wait 72 hours before running your ads if you have not done this step, so keep that in mind. We're simply going to add the most important events in the business from highest priority to lowest priority in order of importance. So the first thing we'll do, click over here, select the pixel, and for this specific business, it would be purchase because it's an e-commerce store. The next most important event would be initiate checkout because that's one step below a purchase. So we're really just going through the steps that someone would take and every step is going to get them farther away from the end goal. The next thing would be add payment info. Our next event is going to be add to cart. Our next event is going to be something like customized product. And you may not have eight events. If you don't have eight events that you're using, only select the events you are using. You can always go back and add more later. I also will add contact if somebody opts in. And then finally, view content if they are viewing certain products. So as you can see, this is a hierarchy of what someone would do on a site. They'd view the content, they'd opt in, they'd customize a product, add to cart, add payment info, initiate that checkout, and finally make a purchase. So I only have seven here. That's fine. If I get another one, I can add that later. I click submit. I confirm these changes, verify that the highest priority is the number one event that you want to take place. And the lowest priority will typically be something like view content. Then we hit apply. And now my web events have been configured after my domain has been verified. Now, doing this alone will not cause the iOS 14 issues with tracking to be overcome automatically. The one thing that you can do if you are a local business or even selling online is use something like the Conversions API. In order to do that, you click on Add Events using the Conversions API. 
If you install this code manually, you can connect it to a tool like High Level CRM, which is my favorite all-in-one platform. So check out the video at the end screen of this video to learn more about High Level. And I'll also show you how to set up the Conversions API with a tool like High Level to have accurate reporting now that iOS 14 has disrupted Facebook and Instagram ad tracking. Don't forget to like this video or subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.